and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I will be sharing with you my last creative team video for Sean Petit. Um, I will be giving a new lease of life to this canvas and it was created I believe with some like tissue paper. Um, those flowers were painted on with acrylic paint. There's some tinted modeling paste and that like do kind of transfer doodle image. Um, and of course I went in with like other paints and stuff. And um, I just wanted to like prime the canvas and I wasn't really feeling like doodled um, image. So I went over that with chalk primer, but then I went over the flowers with some clear chalk primer and then that will just give it a really nice um, surface. And then I gave that a really good dry with my heat gun so that I can go on to the next step. And I know over the flowers looks really cloudy, but once I dry it, it'll um, look clear. And I'm going in with this page um, that's from an A to Z like map, map book. So um, that's the index page. So I'm going to stick that down with some like PVA glue. And I was planning to have like the flowers shining through kind of thing, but from this stage on that plan went completely out the window as usual um, and I'm sticking that down with like PVA glue on my finger and I'm using my finger just because um, the canvas is really textured um, you may not really be able to see it very well but it's extremely textured so using my finger I'm able to get into all those like nooks and crannies I'm adding quite a lot of um, PVA glue as well because I did want that to stay really firmly so I'm going to add some tissue paper. This is when I was like, yep, I'm definitely going to cover up most of those flowers. Um, I'm going in with some purple, some like bluey teal and some gold. And you can see um, like the PVA glue is so thick when I'm spreading it around my finger. Um, I do end up tearing the tissue paper by accident. But um, that was a bit of a happy accident because that created a really nice texture. But I went over with like paint and stuff so it was all good but um to like prevent that tearing um when I was sticking down the gold tissue paper I believe um I like sprayed the canvas with some water and that thinned out the PVA glue so it was easier to spread I just gave it like a few quick spritz and that made it a lot easier and you can see that I'm able to stick that down um without any trouble and I am sticking things down on the side as well because I like to have the sides of my canvas decorated because I really like to see like an unframed canvas. Um, so especially like when I'm going to sell the canvases I make, I know I like to like be able to give people that option. So making the sides look really pretty is just one of the things I do. And I'm just having all that in just a few like areas kind of folding over from the sides and stuff just to add some really nice um, texture and color. So as well, sticking down like the color tissue paper kind of made me decide like what colors I was going to use. And of course, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I really love my blues and I really love my purple. So this, I guess, is, isn't probably much of a surprise. Um, but yeah, I really like those that like color and I love gold as well, which is why I um, grabbed some of that gold tissue paper. So once that was nice and dry, I gave that a blast with my heat gun. I'm going to go in with some chalk primer and some orange paint because I did want to like bring some of that orange from like the way the canvas was before through <clears throat> sorry um so I'm adding some cadmium orange hue and I'm going to blend that in with the chalk primer and this both like adds color as well as kind of blends away some of those hard edges from like the paper I stuck down and it'll just like kind of make everything blend together and look really nice so that I have like a background that works really well together and I'm going in darker in some areas, lighter in some areas with the orange, just to kind of um, give a kind of tone and tone kind of look. And it'll just add a little bit more interest, especially like visually. And once I finish like adding the chalk primer um, with the orange, I'm going to go over with that leftover orange and just add a few more darker areas. And then I'll go back in with the chalk primer just to lighten everything up. Um, it felt just a little bit dark. So I thought I'll just brighten that up with the chalk primer. And I'm going in really messily. I was really feeling like the messy kind of background technique. Um, so you'll see that when I just kind of slapping down paint and stuff. So I pulled out a few of Sean's stencils and I'm going to use um, one of these stencils, like the zigzag one, with some bluey kind of teal color. So I'm going to make some Viridian and Cerulean Blue. Then I'm going to apply the paint with my fingers to the stencil, which gives a really nice, like kind of messy stenciled image. Um, it also adds a bit more texture as well, just because it's a bit thicker how I've applied it. And I'm 
added some of that um, chalk primer just to lighten up a few um, areas just to like kind of give it the look that I did when I added that orange paint and I'll also bring some of that stenciling over to the side just kind of um so just to kind of bring that together and I added a bit more chalk primer just to lighten it up and I'm going to add that in a few areas um, quite lightly so I pick up all like the texture from um, the papers I stuck down and that just brings in all the blue like I wanted without having to add too much stenciling um, I didn't want it to look like too busy with the stenciling and I didn't have a purple paint that matched so I sprayed over that mask and I also like pressed that mask over the sides as well um, so I can bring that colour in and I just dab that off just to lighten it up a little bit and um, I was going to mix my chalk primer with the spray but for some reason whenever I do that it makes my chalk primer go kind of gunky and weird like you can see there so I'm going to bring out my white paint and I'll mix the spray with that instead because I did want to have like a light purple but again I wanted one that went with like tissue paper and the spray so that's how I'm going to um, work with that and again, I'm just going to add that in a few areas like I did beforehand. And I did make sure and like dry that zigzag um, stenciled image before I went in with the purple. So I am able to like go over it without smudging it too much. And again, over the sides and that just blended everything together nicely. And I was really loving the background, but I got a bit stumped and I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted my focal image to be. So I left that overnight to dry. And then when I came back, I figured out I wanted to use some dragonflies. So I used the mask from the dragonfly stencil to um, map things out. And then I took um, Sean's words, words, words stencil. Um, I traced those letters onto a piece of scrap paper. And if you, as you can see, I cut that um, down so that I can like figure out where I wanted the words to be. And the quote um, I used was, you were always meant to fly. So um, now that I've figured out how I wanted everything, I'm going to stencil the dragonflies using the um, makeup sponge with some black acrylic paint. And you can see I could just put the stencil right over where the mask was, remove the mask and then stencil away. So that's what I really like about um, like some of Sean's stencils come with the mask, especially when it's like a kind of biggish image like that, which is just perfect because you're able to like plan everything out um, and not have to worry about whether you like it or not um, until you go in when you're completely sure how you want it. And I did um, stencil that dragonfly a little bit messily by accident. Um, and you'll see like how I deal with that, like with the letters, because the way I'm using the stencil, because they're like words I'm stenciling, I'm just stenciling like the individual letters in the words. I do end up going over where I don't want to. So I use a um, small brush that has a bit of water on it. I wipe away the um, unwanted like smudges or letters that's been stenciled accidentally. And then that just makes it look a bit better, especially if say by, um, I might have stenciled something very like, it looks kind of splodgy. So um, that was just how I figured out like how to fix that up. But I completely forgot to do that with the dragonfly, but you'll see how I fix that later. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see um, what I'm doing. And you can see just, I'm, and this is quite a slow process. It looks really fast on video, but I do go over really slowly and just kind of gently wipe away some of that paint. And this did take a while just because um, I was just having to be careful with um, when I'm stenciling these letters. And I could have masked off like the letters I wanted to use and stuff, but I was feeling a bit lazy. I didn't want to go grab any masking tape or anything and um, mask it off. So I had to do this instead, but that was absolutely fine. Um, but if you want to like mask your letters off, then feel free to, I was just feeling lazy. So I'm going to go in and stencil all that in. And while I'm doing that, I just want to, um, thank Sean for like giving me the opportunity to be in her creative team. I've never done this before and I had a really, really great time. Um, I'm really sad it's like my last one, but of course, like on my own channel, I will have still have videos using her stencils because I absolutely love her stencils. Um, using her stencils has like brought in like a new kind of art style for me because I don't didn't really use stencils beforehand. So this has been a really like fun um way to explore different ways of creating um a piece of artwork. So I've really enjoyed it and um don't don't forget to as well check out the other creative team members um 
because they also have some really gorgeous creations and they've created such lovely videos so please do check them out as well and like give them a like and subscribe as well um so yeah and as well check out sean's channel because she also has some lovely videos as well so um now i'm going to add some splashes now that everything is stenciled up i'm using a fan brush and some watered down paint i'm going to add black white and gold splashes and um i didn't add too much water when i was watering down the um paint so i did get quite small um splashes if i wanted bigger ones i would have watered down the paint a lot more and a fan brush is great for um adding splashes it, it's just I guess the paint sprays a lot better with um, the fan brush, so it's really good. And I'm just kind of dabbing away like the paint from whenever it gets on like the dragonflies and stuff. But of course, it doesn't dab off perfectly, but that's perfectly fine um, because I will go over the dragonflies with um, some black paint as well as the um, letters. Because as you can see, it's kind of disappearing into the background with those splashes. And I added those splashes just so that... Um, because there was so much black, um, I just thought I'd bring it in a little bit more with those splashes. And I'm going in now with that small brush and the black paint. I'm just going to fill everything in. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to like kind of touch up a few areas. So you'll see me in a little bit mix some orange and some white paint so that I can bring that detail back in with that dragonfly um, that wasn't stenciled properly. And I'll just kind of break up the wings just a little bit. And before I do that, I'm going to add a lovely grungy border um, using the leftover paint that was on the makeup sponge. And I kind of blend it in with my fingers as well as the sponge because I wanted it to be quite a soft um, kind of border. And I also add that black around the sides of my canvas and that finished off the sides perfectly. So now I'm going to touch up that dragonfly. And I'm also going to do that to some of the letters as well. Um, some of them just was a bit splodgy and I wanted it to be like clear enough to read. So I'll do that. And now for the fun part. So I gave it a really good dry because I'm going in now with my Unibal Signo pen. It's a great white gel pen. Um, you can see it's nice and strong. I'm just outlining all of those letters. And you'll see I make a bit of a boo-boo here. Um, because I had stenciled the um the w e and the r e so far apart for some reason i thought i had to put like an apostrophe but then i realized actually that was a completely wrong word it's supposed to be you were always meant to fly not you we are always meant to fly so um just so it, the the word wouldn't look weird um i thought i would just kind of make that r just a little bit thicker and um bring out the e just a little bit and then I'll go back in with the gel pen once it's all dry. And that just kind of fixed my problem. I'm really glad I noticed that before um, I like dried everything because then I would have had to go over with like paint and stuff to try to cover it over. But as you can see, I was just able to wipe that away. And doing this, like the outlining, you could have just left it without outlining, but this just helps to really finish it off because like black grounds a page or like a dark color grounds it, but then a, a light color, especially white, just helps everything to pop out really well. Um, and then you're just able to like read the quote so much better. And now for the really fun part, now I get to doodle. So um, I'm going over my dragonflies, I'm outlining them first, and then I'm going to add all like the details of the wings and the body um, with the gel pen. And you can see the eyes look a bit odd. I do have to kind of like go over the eyes quite a few times, but um, so I'll cover up that area with like the black paint and try again. And um, I was able to figure out that I wasn't to add like a kind of angle like eye shape kind of thing you'll see when I do it um and then I thought that looked a lot better so like with the wings um I do try to mirror it just a little bit but um it's not perfectly mirrored I didn't really need it to be perfect um I just wanted it to just look really like delicate and dainty and really pretty um just like how dragonflies are um, I absolutely love to see dragonflies and, and um, damsels kind of flying around, especially like around summer. They look so pretty like in the light and everything, how it ca catches their wings. Um, and I wanted to be able to capture some of that like wing detail. And I'm doing the bottom wings just a little bit different from like top ones. Um, when I first do it, it did look a bit sparse, but I will go back in. Um, because I just felt like it just looked a bit too plain. And you can see I still haven't done the eyes yet. Um, it took me a while to get it. And like I'm not being perfect with, especially like the body, I didn't want it to look too perfect. So um, when I went in, I was just kind of like putting the lines kind of angled in different ways. 
And you can see that's how I've done the eyes with a kind of angled shape. And then I added a little bit kind of like, I think they're, I would say mandibles, not antennae. Yeah, they, I don't think dragonflies have antennae. So I'm going to say they are mandibles. Um, and I thought that finished off the dragonflies perfectly. And you can see I went in with a few more like kind of wiggly lines um, in the bottom wing, just so it would look a little bit more like dainty and not so sparse. And now that that is done, I'm going to add some marks. So first I'm going to go in with some black calligraphy ink and the pen. And I'm going to add some like plus signs in a few areas. Um, I like odd numbers, so I kind of did like five clusters of these plus signs. And I'm a bit out of frame, but you'll see me now. Um, and I did that with the black, the Uniball Signal white pen. And I'll also go in with some gold calligraphy ink. Um, I love my gold and I felt as if I didn't have enough gold so I thought I would just add some more shine and like with the black um, crosses I went wherever I thought the canvas looked a bit light like too light um, and then with like the Uniball signal I went where I thought the canvas had quite some dark areas and like adding these marks just kind of brings everything together because there was so much black bringing this in was a good way to like bring it into the background without it looking too like busy or too like overpowering um i also did add some more black splashes and then as the same with like the white it also adds some more highlights in areas without being too overpowering and when i go in with the gold you'll see that you can't like see it too well but when you like tip it to the light you'll be able to see the gold a lot better and what's nice with this calligraphy ink um, like the gold calligraphy ink, it's a lot more opaque than my paint, so it does stand out a lot more. Um, and yes, yeah, so um, once I did the gold crosses, I do go in and add some gold touches um, with, onto the dragonflies and like the dragonflies eyes. And I also add some um, gold onto the letters just to kind of add like a gold highlight because of course it was outlined with white, so I couldn't really add a or white highlight um, well I could have but I didn't think it would look too good so um, I went in with a gold highlight and that just finished off everything really nicely so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already um, if you're on my channel don't forget to click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video which is every Monday um, if you're on, don't forget to check out Sean's channel, give her a like, subscribe to her channel and everything. And if you're watching on Sean's, please do check out my channel. Um, if you're inspired and you are watching on my channel, you can like tag me on Instagram. You can check out my Facebook group where you can share your creations because I would love to see what you guys make. And all of that is linked down below. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. So thanks again for um, watching my creative team videos. This has really been a really fun adventure and I hope to do something like this again. And I hope you join me again for another RT video. Bye.